Today I'll be reviewing the 2021 Tilt Shift, an entry-level white tee from White 2T, who ironically has more pouars than whites. Since this is my first time doing a White 2T review, I'm gonna give a little bit of a background on the company, then we'll get into the cake, my recommendations for brewing, if I recommend buying this cake, and then the shopping experience with White 2T to finish it up. Hello friends, I'm Dart from Tao Teaware. On this channel, we do teaware education, tea reviews, side-by-side -side comparisons. Who's Y2T? Well, Y2T is the Banksy of the tea industry. Paul started Y2T in 2012, but he's been in China since 2005. It was seven years before he pressed his first cake. Few people know his name and even fewer have met him. If you really want to get anything to the behind the brand of Y2T, the tea subscription that they have is going to be the easiest way to connect with them. It's the best way to get any feeling from who he is. Additionally, he has a tea blog, which we'll talk about at the end of the video if you want a little bit more of his voice. The brand is so in satire, and once you know that he designs all of the art for everything at White 2T, it's very clear that he has an art background. The man's a Puar lover, and he has become a master at blending teas. There are a lot of their cakes that they don't press for up to seven years, and they really do transparency through lack of transparency. Meaning, if he doesn't know, he's not gonna say he knows. If you look at some of the oldest teas on the White 2T website, it'll say early 2000s, 2000-ish, we don't know, which we absolutely love. So the dry leaves in preheating this were absolutely sweet and delicious. After the first steep, the flavor was pretty mild and not quite there yet, but it definitely boldened up in the second steep. The smell was still unclear and smelled like clay too much to really get good character. The Gaiwan, on the other hand, whew, had those sweeter notes around the rim and in the center of the Gaiwan lid, you could smell those, those deeper notes that I'd expect from a Fujinese white tea. The second steep, we dropped down the temperature to 180. 185, 187 was just a little bit too hot. The pot was still too hot to sniff, and I actually would recommend you don't preheat the pot when you're brewing this tea. It's just too mild for it. The taste started to bolden up and thicken slightly. It's still a thinner tea, but we got these unflavored candy notes, this sweetness, not, not the floral notes that I was getting off the smell, the third steep I brewed at 170 and some of those aromatics died off. We really got into the main taste and flavor, but it's not this aromatic bomb like some other white teas that I've had in the past. So for grading a tea cake, we have the price to quality comparison, the density, the art that we get on the front, and finally, when to drink it. Now, not all teas are pressed and you wanna make sure that you have a tea knife or a tea pick, but for this price point, you really can't go wrong. It was a $32 cake. The art on this is the classic tilt shift art with the face. For me, I just don't really like the color scheme of the 2021 and the 2022 as much as I like the 2019 and 2020. The density on this, perfect, a puff ball. This is really bud heavy tea and so it's really satisfying to keep these leaves intact. This is still young for a white tea, right? It's only two years old, but it is a pretty static tea. So my impression is it's not really gonna be super great for aging and you should just drink it now. Should you buy this tea? Yeah, of course. At $32, this is such a great entry-level white Yunnan tea. I think you should definitely pick up one of these and go for the full cake. They also sell this cake wrapped in the bamboo tube, so if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link down in the description so you can grab one of those. For me, White 2T has the most seamless website out of pretty much any tea vendor. They have flat rate $10 shipping, two quantity options available so you can get the cake or the sample. They have $30 cakes and $300 cakes, which is awesome. White 2T is the antithesis of a personal brand. You'll never see Paul's face, but their branding, his art, and his witty style can be seen through the words that he sends in everything. If you do want to hear more from Paul, though, make sure you check out teaware.house, his teaware company, and then Two Dog Tea Blog, his blog, which you can get a little bit more into how he actually feels about different teas. And if you like Puar or other stronger teas as much as Paul does, make sure you check out this video on stoneware teapots. They help to mild out the flavor of teas and definitely are the peak of all artistry in the tea industry.